Peaches. So today I am going to be doing a question and answer video. I haven't done one of these in so long so I thought it was about time that um, I done one and answered a few of your questions and stuff like that. So I'm just going to get straight into it because these are normally a wee bit rambly. Um, so yeah. So the first one is from Emma Johnson and she says have you had any near death experiences? Um, Honestly, not that I can really think of. Um, well, there was what. Okay, I didn't nearly die, but it was pretty scary. Um, me and my friend Alex were walking home from gymnastics, and we were. Well, I live near, quite near school. Um, and it's on a, It was on a Saturday, so we were walking home, and the gate was open because there's a swimming pool inside the school, and on Saturdays that's used. Um, so we thought we would cut through the school come out the other gate and then we would be really close to our house so we done that walked the whole way through got to the gate and it was shut it was closed and we were not for walking the whole way back and the whole way round to get to our house so we were like we're going to try to jump the fence but the fence um is a metal fence and it has the spikes at the top of it to try to stop people climbing over the fence that we were about to do so Alex is really, really tall. She is six foot two. So she got over the fence and jumped down and that was all great, fine, no problem. Then it was my turn. So I got over the fence and with a lot of struggle, got up to the top of the fence, jumped down. When I got down, my hood from my hoodie had caught on top of the spike and I was getting strangled by my hoodie. Like I couldn't breathe. I was turning bright red and it's quite near a shop. So Obviously Alex was freaking out, she was screaming and stuff. So we had to get um someone to come and get me down because my hood was stuck on top of the fence and I was getting strangled by my hoodie. So that was pretty scary, but I wouldn't have said I probably wouldn't have died because I think somebody would have done something before that, but it was still pretty scary. Um, Rachel LOL56 said, How were you inspired to become a YouTuber? I love your videos. Thank you so much. And to be honest, I have just always watched YouTube videos. I have always been really into makeup, um, you know, just stuff like that. And then when I was watching YouTube videos, it was kind of like, you know, I would love to tell people what I think about makeup and I would love to um, put myself out there and give people ideas and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what inspired me to become a YouTuber because... Um, I wanted to do what everybody else done when, when I was watching them on YouTube. Okay, so Cara Fernan underscore X wrote, what's your favourite videos to film? Um, and honestly, my favourite videos to do are kind of the more chatty ones. I love chatting with you guys. Um, I love doing makeup too, but I really love the more chatty videos. I like doing hauls as well. Um, but really like question and answer videos and stuff like that. And I'm thinking of doing um maybe starting to do a few story time videos. If you would be interested in that, comment down below. Um, but yeah, they would probably be my more, uh, they're more enjoyable to film. Okay, so Lara Face, I think it's Facer, um, underscore wrote, what's your favourite eye eyeshadow palette? And mine would probably be... At the minute, I still love the Morphe 350 palette. Absolutely love that hands down. But I've also been really enjoying my Makeup Good Guy shadow palettes. Um, and also the Soeva Coca Bear um, eyeshadow palette. It's gorgeous too. That's what I have on my eyes today actually. Um, so yeah, it depends what mood I'm in and what colours I'm kind of feeling. Depends on what palette. Dina McGee, I think that's how you say your name. Um, what's your favourite drugstore and high-end foundation? Well, my favourite drugstore foundation, of course, is the Revlon Colour Stay for Oily Skin. Like, hands down, favourite foundation. Um, and for my high-end foundation, I would have to say I love my Estee Lauder Double Wear for a night out. Um, I recently got it in a darker colour for, my, for when I'm tan. Um, and I've been really liking that for nights out because it's really full coverage and I love to be proper glammed up when I'm going out. So they would probably be my two favourites, although Revlon Colour Stay is my everyday foundation, so um, you can never go wrong with that. Um, X underscore Elizabeth Ann underscore X wrote, have you ever thought about vlogging even for only one day for a week? And I would love to vlog, like I really, really would, but I have quite a boring life. Like I all I do is work. Like I work all the time. Um and then I go and do people's makeup and um 
you know, stuff like that. I'm not really very interesting, although I'm planning a trip soon, um, which I'll go into a wee bit more near the time. Um, and I'm thinking of vlogging a wee bit over there. So um, let me know if you would like to see like a vlog of me um, going on my travels for like a long weekend or whatever. Um, so yeah, let me know if you would be interested in that because it might be a wee bit more interesting than my life here. So uh, yeah. Emma um, H-N-E-M wrote, what's your favourite song of all time? And at the minute, my favourite, favourite song is um, Tracy Chapman, Fast Car, but it's the remix, and I think it's by... I can't remember, I'll leave it down here, but it's like the, re the remix is uh, Fast Car, and I have been loving it at the minute. I am obsessed with that song. Isabel underscore McCrane wrote, what car do you drive? And I drive a... White Suzuki Swift GL, so it's like a sports kind of version of the Suzuki Swift. It is, uh, it's only got two doors, um, and I love it. It's like kind of my perfect, um, first car, but um, it does have white wheels, which makes it so hard to keep clean. So if you ever see me in my car, it's most likely to be absolutely stinking because I hate cleaning it. Grace Ferner wrote, do you want to go to university at any point in your life? And if so, what do you want to study? I have applied to study in September a degree in social work because I want to go on and be a social worker for children and adults with disabilities. That's my main goal in life. Um, I'll always do my makeups on the side and do people's makeup and stuff on the side. I'll always do that because I enjoy it so much. But that's what I want to do. So I have an interview coming up soon. So fingers crossed for me that I get in and everything goes well. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, I quite like this one. It's SL underscore 125 says, if there was a movie all about you, who would you want to play as you? Um, oh, this is so hard. Um, who would I want to play as me? Well, I'm kind of dozy and like kind of fun and um you should have maybe had a think about this one before I answered it I just really like the question because it's really different um who would I want to play as me do you know, I love oh why can I not think of her name now she plays um Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games what do you call her she is absolutely hilarious um Comment down below her name. This is going to kill me and I bet you when I'm editing this I'm going to remember her name straight away. But that is who I would want to play me in a film if it was all about me because I just think she's hilarious. She's so down to earth and she's absolutely stunning. Okay so Amy underscore Victoria underscore Thompson wrote if you could only use one lipstick for the rest of your life what would it be? And I'm really boring. I love my nude lipsticks like that is my everyday favourite lipstick is my nude lipstick and it would have to be MAC Velvet Teddy. It's just a staple lipstick that I can wear every single day. I can wear it on a night out. I can wear it going to uh, college. I can wear it every single day. So although it's a wee bit boring I have to say that would be probably the lipstick that I would wear for the rest of my life. Okay, so Danny Mathis, Matheson, I think, um, wrote, if you could have any celebrity to feature in one of your videos, who would it be and why? And I would love um, Kevin Hart. He is a comedian and he is absolutely hilarious. My favourite comedian ever. Like, I owe it myself when I'm watching him. It is so, so funny. And he just seems like a really fun person to be, like, to be around. Um... Although you'd probably wanted me to say somebody who's into makeup and all that, but I don't know, Kevin Hart is absolutely hilarious. Let me know, do you like Kevin Hart as well and have you heard of him? And if not, type in Kevin Hart on YouTube and he is hilarious. He's not a YouTuber, but his videos are on YouTube. He is absolutely hilarious. Elaine O'Connor, 65, wrote, um, are you planning on travelling anywhere this year? And yes, I am. I am planning a trip in the upcoming weeks. Um, I am also planning to go on holiday with my mum and also on holiday with my boyfriend, my best friend Becca, who has been featured on my channel before, and her boyfriend. Um, where yet? We're not too sure, but that's the plan. Um, and I, I just want to get away as much as I can this year, to be honest. I love going on holiday, I love travelling. Um, so yeah, that's kind of something that I'm thinking of doing, so yeah.
Nikki Lacey 13 wrote what's your dog's name and what type is he he is gorgeous by the way I'll post a picture of him here my dog is my baby he is called Mr M-I-S-T-E-R and um, basically because we couldn't think of a name and that just kind of stuck and um, he is a Neapolitan Mastiff and he is absolutely gigantic and he weighs a ton but um, he, he is the baby of my family, like everybody loves him so much. If you have food and you're hungry, you have to leave one bit of food for him, no matter how hungry you are, no matter how much you want to, video, or to finish it, you have to give it to him because it's, he's just the baby of the family and he gets his own way all the time. Anza Barksnit, <laughs> which is Anna Peace. She wrote, how much do you miss Anna Peace's banter in media and business A level? Anna Peace was one of my best friends when I was in school. Um, although I hated school, I absolutely loved Anna. Um, we were in so many different classes together and she is just hilarious. So shout out to my girl because I love her to bits and I really, really miss her. Karina underscore XXO wrote, will you ever do a meetup? And I would love to do a meetup. Like, you guys know if I've ever met any of you outside, like, I love meeting you so much. You'd absolutely make my day when I get to meet you guys. Um, so I would love to do a meetup so much, but I just, I don't think anybody would turn up, to be honest with you. Um, I'm just not, not, I'm not big. I'm not, you know not that many people watch me and although I have 11,000 subscribers and I love every single one of you I just don't think that enough people would turn up and I would be so embarrassed like oh I hate situations like that so in the future yes I might do a meet up um but at the minute I don't have any plans for one okay and the last question for this video is share underscore Montgomery if you were stuck on an island and could only have four things not including people what would you choose okay so four things first my phone because i am addicted to my phone like i love it um second makeup because i i could spend all day doing my makeup i absolutely love it thirdly hmm probably hmm, my laptop maybe and Fourthly, my camera so I can still do YouTube videos. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, th thanks so much for everybody who asked a question. And if you want me to do these question and answer videos kind of maybe once a month or something like that, let me know because I really, I really, really enjoy doing these and I love getting to answer your questions and kind of interact with you a wee bit more than what I can in the typical beauty video or do you know something like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.